Okay then, so now we've seen the first hook, use state. I want to move on to the next hook, and that one is called use effect. So let's first of all import that up here, use effect. And all hooks pretty much just use this naming convention, use something or other. So you can think of this use effect hook as a bit like a lifecycle method that we'd normally use inside a class component in React. So when we use functional components, we don't have access to those lifecycle methods. And if we wanted to run some code when the component updates, for example, then we'd normally need to use a class component and hook into a lifecycle method. Now though, we can use this use effect hook instead in functional components to do just that. So this use effect hook, let's just use it down here. Use effect is a function again, and it takes in here a callback function as a parameter. And that callback function is gonna run every time the component renders or re-renders, i.e. every time the data inside our component changes and also on the initial render. So typically you could use this use effect hook to do something like communicate with a database or an API endpoint or something like that. For now though, let me just do a very, very simple example. All I'm gonna do is log something to the console. So we'll say console, dot log and we want to say use effect hook run and then we'll say we want to output the songs as well so if i save this now hopefully when it first loads and it first renders we should see this function fire and then every time the data here changes inside the component then the component will re-render and on that re-render this function is going to fire again every time the component renders so let me save it and preview over here so we can see use effect hook run and we have the data right here because we logged that to the console as well. If I add a new song, then we should see it again in a second. Ignore this D, that's just me typing it there for some reason. Anyway, now we see use effect hook run again, this time with the extra data. If we just type in some random stuff there again, then we can see use effect hook run again. Okay, so you get the gist. This is running every time the component renders or every time the data updates inside the component and when it first renders as well. So now then, imagine this. Imagine we had two lots of different data inside this component. Then any time any of that data is updated, then the hook is going to run, right? So let me demonstrate this, for example. Just bear with me. I am going somewhere, so this is not all going to be pointless. Let me now create some more states by using the use state hook and we'll say const and this will be oops age and set age and we'll set that equal to use state again and we can do this we can use use state as many times as we want inside a component and we're just storing different values basically like this one is songs and set songs this one is age and set age so i'm going to initialize this to 20 to begin with then i'm going to create a button and when we click on that button it's going to increase the age by one so Let's do that at the bottom down here. We'll do a new button. And inside this button, we'll just say add one to age. And then we'll also output the age. So curly braces and age. Remember, that's what we called age right here. So to begin with, this will be 20 right here. But as we click on this, I want to start adding to this. So let's add the on click event handler. And inside, we'll just do an inline arrow function and we want to call set age and we'll take the current age plus one. So basically the new value is going to be whatever the current age is plus one. And that should then update the state. Therefore we get a re-render and therefore this should run as well, right? So let me now save this and preview over here. So we can see it's currently 20, add one to age. It goes to 21 and you see use effect hook run. Do it again and it comes again. So this data is not changing the songs, but that doesn't matter. Some data inside the component is changing. Therefore, it's re-rendering the component and it's running that use effect hook or the callback function inside that hook. Now, we might not want to run this callback function every time any data is updated. Imagine we only wanted to run this function, for example, when this data changed and not this data. How would we do that? Well, if we come over here, we can see, I mean, it still runs 
when we add song data because it's running after any kind of data change. All we need to do is limit it so that only when we change the song data, it updates and not this. So we can do that by passing a second parameter into the use effect hook. And that second parameter is gonna be an array of data that we essentially want to watch. And we only want to run this callback function when the data inside this array changes. So for example, I could pass in here songs. And that means that, look, we only want to run this callback function in the use effect hook when the songs data changes and not when the age data changes. So if I save this now and come over here, if I start to add one to age, then notice it's still increasing the age, the data is changing, the component is re-rendering, but this is not running all the time. We only get it on the initial render. So now if I start to add songs, then we get that callback function. So that's nice. We're limiting when we use this callback function. Okay, so let's imagine now we want to use some kind of callback function when this changes. Well, we can use use effect as many times as we want inside the component. So let me just copy this and paste it down here. And I'm just gonna change this one now to age. So that means only run this callback function when age is changed up here. And instead of songs, we'll output age right here. So if I save this now and come over here. Now, if I start to add some stuff over here. First of all, by the way, we see two callback functions have run now, one for the songs and one for the age, because they both run on initial render, nothing to do with adding new data yet. But if we add a new song, then we get this one for the songs, but we don't get the other. If I start adding one to age, then we get the other callback function running. So there we go. That's how we use this hook, use effect to run some code every time the data changes or when the component re-renders. And this is how we limit it to only run based on certain data. So now I think that's pretty much all the basics of hooks covered. So next I'd like to move on to using hooks alongside context back in our context app over here.